Hello everybody and welcome to today's video tutorial. In the last two videos of the TIA portal tutorial, we have learned IEC timers TP, TON, TOF and TONR in the TIA portal and how to use them. But there is another type of timers in TIA called S5 or S7 timers. In this video, we will discuss these timers. There are two types of timers in S7 controller family, the S5 and IEC timers. The S5 timers are from the somatic S5 era. Both uh, S5 and IEC timers can be programmed in the S7, 300 and 400 controller families. The same applies to the new S7, 1500 family, but only IEC timers can be program in the S7-1200 controller and these PCs are not compatible with uh, S5 timers. Let's see these uh, timers in TIA Porta. If you open the timers in TIA and Legacy, you see these timers. Basically, they behave similarly to IEC timers here. A major difference between the two types of timer is that the number of S5 timers depends on the CPU and it's limited. You find the maximum number of S5 timers in the datasheet of your PLC. For example, for this PLC, the maximum number is 2048. On the other hand, the number of IEC timers is only limited by the memory size of the PLC. Actually, the IEC timers are used mostly for programming and I also suggest using these timers. The first timer is S-Pulse. It's like a TP timer of IEC. Let's insert it into our program. And the TP timer to see the difference between these two timers. If you insert an IEC timer, TIA Porta automatically uh, creates the data block required for the data saving. But it's different for S5 timers. They are addressed absolutely via a letter T and a number T0, T1, T2. As you see, the pulse timer needs two inputs. PT is the preset time and the time duration of the timer. But the S-Pulse timer has three inputs. S is for the start. I insert a contact. When M0.0 .0 is changed from 0 to uh, 1, the timer starts. TV is timer value and like PT, it's the time that a uh, timer will count after activating. I set this time to uh, 10 seconds. So I write 10S. Press enter. You see here is written S5. It indicates that this timer is a S5 format timer. R is reset input. BI and BCD outputs show the current time. BI shows it in binary format and BCD output is in BCD format. Let me download this timer and see how it works. I turn on the start input and output will be immediately on. When the timer is started, the time value will be counted down to zero. After this time, so after 10 seconds, the output will be turned off. But what happens if I turn off the input before 10 seconds? Let's try. It 
If I turn off the input back before 10 seconds, you see the output of TP remains on, but the output of espouse is off. And whenever I turn it on again, the time starts from the beginning. Spouse has a reset input. If the timer is running and I press this input, the current value uh, will be set to zero and output Q will be off. As long as the reset is active, you cannot start the timer. The next timer is an extended pulse timer. All the inputs and outputs are like a pulse timer. Let's simulate it. I give a, a memory word to see the BI and BCD outputs. Whenever I turn on the start input, the output will be on. After 10 seconds, the output is off. If I turn off the input before 10 seconds, this time the output will not be off and it remains on until the 10 seconds is finished. This timer behaves like TP. But if you turn on and off the timer, it will be restarted. Here, when I switch the start input uh, two times, the timer starts to count down again from 10 seconds. But in TP, it resumes the time. Like S pulse, if you uh, reset the timer, the timer will stop and output will be off. Okay, next uh, timer is on delay timer. This timer is like TON. After 10 seconds, output will be on. If I turn off the input before 10 seconds, timer will be off. And, and if I turn it back on, the timer value will be reset and start again from 10 seconds. Reset is uh, like other timers and turn off the output. As I said, this timer behaves exactly like uh, TON. The next one is retentive on delay timer.
it turns on the output after 10 seconds. Let's turn off the timer. If you turn off the input before 10 seconds, the timer doesn't care and counts down the time value. If the input is start change from 0 to 1, while the timer is running, the timer will be started and counts down again from 10 seconds. But with turning off the start input of TONR, time will stop and if you turn it on again, the time value will resume that time. The last timer is of delay timer. This timer works with a falling edge. If I turn on the input, the output will be immediately on. Whenever I turn off the input, the timer starts to count and after 10 seconds, output will be off. If the signal state at uh, input start changed to 1, while the timer is running, the timer will be stopped. And again with the falling edge, it will start. It behaves exactly like the TOF timer. Let's talk about these instructions here. You can find here the S5 timers in TIA in form of a coil. They are exactly like the coil form of IEC timers. Let's insert one of the timers in coil type. I insert S pulse. Here we must write the address of the timer. Under the instruction, we write the time like block type. Now the timer is ready to use and it works exactly like the SPALSE timer in block type. But we need to address the output that we want to use it. I insert a contact. You see that is uh, exactly like S pulse. That was all the timers in S5 format. As you see, they have some difference with IEC timers, but you can use both uh, timers in your program. I hope these three uh, tutorials about timers in TIA portal were helpful for you. If you have any problem with timers in TIA, please don't hesitate to write it in comments. See you next video.